Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Ms. Schneider, when you started this process, uh, my understanding is you invited several of the impacted states to participate. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. How many states did you invite? I don't have that number, but we can provide it for the record. I was not at the department at that time. Uh, d d my understanding is it was 10 states that you entered into a mem memorandum of understanding. Is that accurate? I don't have that number, but can provide it for the record, sir. Did you enter into a memorandum of understanding with a, some number of states? Yes, sir. Okay. That is and my understanding. You did. Okay. Do you, do you happen to know how many states entered into a memorandum of understanding? I so you, you invited no, sir. I do not know. Okay. Um, did any turn down their, your offer to, uh, when, you, when you offered states to participate in the process and enter into a, an, a, an agreement with you, did any of them turn it down? Do you know that much? I was not at the department at that time. I do not know, sir. Okay. Of those states that did enter into a memorandum of understanding with you at the start of this process, how many of them still have a memorandum of understanding with you? One, the State of Wyoming, and I commend them for their efforts at staying at the table. So my understanding is 10 states were invited. All of them entered into a memorandum of understanding. At some point, a significant number, well, nine of them, said, we no longer want to work with you guys. Would that be accurate? Yeah, again, I don't, uh, I don't know that the numbers are well, correct. Well, it's kind of interesting, Ms. Snyder. You know that one know, state I, still has it, but you said well, there's other states that we offered to work with us that did enter into a memorandum, but I can't remember that number. The number we have is 10. Well, I will stipulate with you for purposes of the testimony that that is the correct number. Okay. Okay. So we got that. So, so you had 10 states enter into this, this process at the start when you were putting together the rule. When you get to the end of the process or somewhere during the process, 90 percent of the states you've entered into an agreement said, we don't like where this is going. They are not really working with us, and only one state is left. Is that accurate? Well, maybe not, not, you might not agree with the uh, opinion in there, but the numbers are accurate, right? The, the, a number of the states that we had previously, that OSMRE had previously entered into a uh, memoranda of understanding uh, to be cooperating agencies in the NEPA process uh, have terminated uh, their uh, participation. We have sent a letter to them asking them to re-engage. I would yeah. like to have them re-engage. I value their participation in the process, some, and I would like to see them do no, that. I, I'm sure you would, but the fact is they, they don't want to re-engage, and they've, they've been so, uh, so focused on not re-engaging, so disappointed in the process that nine of them said, we want out. Right, but I now, would, let me I ask, would let me add. Ask one other question, too, then. So isn't there an environmental impact statement that, that also comes out uh, that you guys put together at the end of this process as well, right? A draft of the environmental impact statement is on the, uh, what it has been issued. It was open for the public comment period of over three and a half. And how many of those three and a half months? And, and how many of those ten states that originally signed the memorandum of understanding have signed on to the environmental impact statement? Seventeen states did provide comments on the uh, uh, draft environmental impact. No, I'm talking statement. about the ten states that originally started with you. Did any of them sign on and say they agreed with the environmental impact statement? We are still working through their comments. Uh, I am not aware of any states that have said, um, put our seal on the cover, if that is what you are asking me. That is exactly what I am asking, right? Because didn't a couple states specifically say, don't put our seal on the cover? Is that I know, right? I, I, I do know that Wyoming took that. Okay. So here is just simple numbers. When you start the process, 10 states enter into an agreement with you to work cooperatively with you. Through the course of the process, judging by their, uh, their action, nine of those ten states said, we want out of this, we don't like where this is going. Then the final statement is an environmental impact statement, and none of the ten states will sign that or give their stamp of approval. So you were 10 percent of the people, 90 percent wanted out throughout the process. One hung in there hoping, praying it might be somewhat decent. And then when you get to the final statement, not one single state that started this process with you is actually in agreement with the final environmental impact statement. So that, that's, well, you know, that's like, I remember I had this guy one time, he came to me and he said, you know what, the guy ran a business, he said, I've been in an argument with six different people today. I don't know what's wrong with all these people. And I kind of looked at him and I said, I don't either, because if I would have said something, I would have been the seventh, right? <laughs> So when you've got 10 states you enter into an agreement with and none of them will sign the final product, well, that's a problem. It, I, I would clarify it's just a draft product. 
Uh, we are just in the middle of this process. A draft product that none of them will sign, and but, nine out of ten states who started with you said, I want out, even before they came up, even before you came up with the draft product. I will say that a lot of states are willing to meet with us. We've, we are either have met with them or we're continuing to schedule meetings with them. I understand well, you better schedule I understand a lot more because there's, you certainly don't have much buy-in right now, Ms. Snyder. I was not at that time, and what I'm trying to do is make sure that we have a good process going forward. Thank you.